Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's KB here. So this video wasn't planned at all. I was about to record the another video for you guys, but something crazy is happening with my PC. So I have to show you guys this problem because you might get into this problem after updating the Windows 10. So in this video, I will show you what is happening with my PC after the update and which update you should not download to ignore this problem okay so let's do this and hopefully i will find a way to fix this problem okay <laughs> watch till the end if you have the same problem and uh, maybe we'll fix it okay somehow so the thing is that what's happening with my pc is when i'm not using anything like i'm not doing any activities in my pc so you know my pc is making a sound my pc's more specifically laptop my laptop's fan is spinning really fast it's making sound i'm not using anything at all but it's still making a sound so i found out that something in my pc is using really high cpu that is search so after the update search is using around 25 percent of my cpu and around 500 megabyte of my ram and i don't know why okay <laughs> another great thing you want to know is that after the update my search is not working i cannot search for anything like i'm i'm searching for chrome nope nothing is happening even though it's taking all of my cpu what the hell microsoft what's up with this update you can see i'm recording with the obs making a video and i'm using two obs one for webcam one for screen so combining both of them it's using around 12 to 13 percent of my cpu but search alone is using 24 25 percent of my cpu that is crazy so after the update search is not working all of my cpu is being used by search and uh, yeah this is a really big deal guys i cannot stop this from happening like even if i end the search like that it should restart the search but it's not working like it, it appears again and it starts to use my cpu again and search is still not working i don't know why okay so that's enough that's the main problem happening with my pc so if you don't want to get into this problem i will show you why this is happening first because my search bar is not working i should have searched for a windows 10 update but i'm gonna go into the updates and security i'm gonna see the history of my update and uh, i think 3rd of september i got this update kb4512941 i got this update and after that update nothing is happening like search is not working and it's using all of my cpu so after this update so make sure if you get this update in your windows 10 do not download this don't worry i will put a link in the description for my site there i will write the article about this and you can see the which update you should not download so this update is you know a trouble so what happened is after you know this started to happen to my pc i did some google search and i oh my what I just for a second I saw 100% CPU usage here <laughs> I got scared so what happened is I did some Google search and uh, I found out that I'm not the only one who's getting this type of problem there are many people who got this update so just in case if you get this update do not download this okay so now let's try to fix this I'm gonna try with simple way if it does not work then uh, i'm gonna have to do the clean install and there's a one more problem but i did not notice it earlier i think after that i ch started to check the other things but the camera is not working camera app in windows 10 is not working i don't know if it has to do with the update or not because i don't know it how long it was like this i don't know <laughs> it's been a long time i haven't used a windows 10 camera app but yeah, that's not an issue. I, I can use third party applications, but the search is just gone, completely gone. And uh, CPU usage is really high. So let's try to fix the problem. 
I'm gonna try to uninstall the update first. Maybe that will fix my problem. Hopefully, because I don't want to reinstall my Windows yet. <laughs> really annoying update. So I'm gonna go into the uninstall updates and uh, I have to make sure that I un uninstall the right one. It should be latest, yeah, KB451294. Okay, so KB451294, yeah, this is the latest one we got. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uninstall this update. I don't know if it will ask for restart. After restart, I'm gonna show you that, guys, that did it work? Did it actually fix the problem? So I'm going to uninstall this update and it says, please wait while updates are being uninstalled. Okay, Microsoft, I'm waiting here. Hopefully this works, guys, because uh, uh, for now, I don't want to uninstall my Windows 10 and reinstall this. That process is going to be really painful because I have to download so many things and it takes like whole day, entire day to download the things you have in your PC drivers, softwares, and you have to set up all the softwares like OBS, um, Adobe Premiere Pro and all that kind of stuff. You have to set up them. So it's a really long process. Okay, update time. It's been like five minutes. The uninstall process is still there. It's a long process, I guess. All right, finally. It says restart your PC to apply the changes. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. I have to stop recording. Yes. All right, guys, the restart is completed. Now I haven't checked if this fixed my problem because I want to um, see this glorious moment with you guys. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's first check our yee. What? Now it's working. Oh uh, yeah, check for update. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's working. Okay, all you have to do is uninstall that latest update and it will get fixed. And let's check our task manager because I don't want to lose my CPU. All right, all right. Okay, now you can see OBS is at the top because I'm recording the video. That's not a problem at all. So the highest amount of CPU is being used right now is the 7% by my OBS and you can see that sweet spot of my CPU is really low like 15% with using double OBS and where is the search god damn it search come on come on <laughs> now I want to find you okay now it's look at this look at this now it's sleeping good night search good night <laughs> this is really funny look at this this is the search and this is what happens with the search. It should not use any of your CPU and RAM unless you use it, I guess. Uh, where do I find it? Yeah, unless you use it. Like, you use it, uh, wait. You use it and it starts to use your CPU. Not 25%, just few, like one, two, two, three, four, five, okay? That's the maximum CPU it can use. Microsoft, I have a suggestion for you. This is for Microsoft, not for you guys, okay? I'm gonna go for check for update, like that. <laughs> I don't have to reinstall my Windows 10. I'm really happy. And let's see if the camera is working. No, I think something else broke my camera app, but it's fine, it's fine. Now let's see the history update. It is here, but I think we uninstalled it. They, they don't tell us did we get the update or not? If we uninstall that, they don't tell us that you don't have that update. It's for now, it's it's showing that the update is still here, but we don't have that update. Let's check for update because I want to make sure and I have a suggestion for the Microsoft. Microsoft members, please watch this for a second until we just check for an update. Brothers, it's been like five minutes. The update check thing is still not done. Don't go anywhere. I'm still here. You know what? In some cases, I think Linux is better. They get the update faster and check for update faster. Microsoft, Windows 10 sucks. I think any Windows sucks for the update. It takes forever to check for update. 
People don't have a time, Microsoft. Please do something about it. What? We, can, we ran into a problem while connecting to Windows Update Server? What the heck is happening now? One more try after that I'm gonna go to sleep, okay? It's daytime but I still want to go to sleep because I thought I had to install my Windows 10 but now I don't, okay? The problem is finished and now we can have a nice sleep. All right, I'm done with this. And uh, so what I wanted to tell you guys that I can't show you because I tried it twice and the Windows 10 update is not working for me right now. I don't know why, maybe they hate me and I think they heard everything what I'm doing right now. Okay, this is a secret. <laughs> I can't keep it secret. Okay, so the thing is when you check for update, there is a regular update which gets updated automatically, but there is another update which is a additional update or optional update. To be more specific, there will be an optional update label and under that there will be the download button for that update. So do not download those updates. So that's how I got into this problem and that was a optional update and uh, for the Microsoft, please put a big yellow or red label there do it at your own risk the optional update thingy please fix it or at least give us some kind of warning that this is not a safe update or i think they should not uh you know label this as an optional update they should label it as a beta update or something like that i don't know how the, these things works but yeah you just have to keep in mind that do not download the optional updates. Regular updates, they get updated automatically, but the optional update, you just have to click on the download and install, okay? So don't do that and I think you'll be fine. And I'm glad that uh, we fixed our PC problem. Now I can make my regular videos and thank you so much for watching. I will put a link in the description. You can go there and uh, read the article and I will put on that article the update name full name so you guys will have better idea which update you should not download that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.